Ding dong. Hey. Hello. Hey, doing? I'm Mike Clover. Hey, Mike. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Joe. Hey, doing, Joe. Hi. What are we here for today? Well, right now we have a problem with the water heater. I have no idea what the thing is doing. It's got a mind of its own. So if you could take a look at it and tell me what is wrong with the thing, I really appreciate that. So we're here today just to look at it, not to do anything. No, no, we got to get it fixed, Mike. I took off work and everything like that. We got to get this thing up and running, please. Just confirm. Were you looking to accomplish that? I got to get this thing fixed. I really am. Uh, I have a lot of stuff going on here at our house, and so it's important that we get it fixed. Okay. That's Let's cool. take a look and see what we can do here. It's right here. It's the. There's the water heater down here. Yeah. Can you get that? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> There she Here's is. Take a look at that, okay? Acme sticker right on there. Oh, um, do you have maintenance done on before? Any company come out and take a look at it? Oh, yeah, Acme is my guy. My normal plumbing company is Acme. How come they're not here today? Hmm. I had some, uh, I wasn't too happy last time they were out here. I wasn't too. Do you mind telling me about it? I really don't want to get into it, Mike. It's, I'm a Christian man. I don't like talking bad about other people, you know? It's possible off the record, just so I know what not to do. Off the record? Yeah. Now, I had a guy from Acme out here. His name was uh, Billy. And uh, the guy came to my house, and all he did was uh, text his, uh, his girlfriend the entire time. And he was, I guess he got a new girlfriend. And so all he's doing is texting out by the air conditioning unit. You know, I'm like, what's he texting this guy? You know, and he's, he's not, he's not, he didn't put the gauges on either, and they said he tuned it up, but he didn't even touch the unit. All he did is text it. I just watched him the entire time and texted his girlfriend. You know? I'm sorry to hear that. Did you give the office a call? Yeah, I did give the office a call. They said that uh, you know, he's going through a, a breakup with his wife, and he's trying to find a new girlfriend and things like that. And I said, well, that's not my problem. Why is he got to do that? I said, well, you know, love finds a way. That's what they told me. Did you ask to speak with the owner? I tried to, but he wouldn't take my calls. He was, I don't, I don't know what he was doing, but I couldn't get a hold of him, no. You sure you don't want to give him a second chance? No, I think I'm done with these guys. I, I would never work with them. I, I had none of that. Oh, I'd be happy to help it's you. Just like I, I got a hold of you. How'd you hear about us? Well, I got your name from a friend of ours. Uh, it was Laverne Nagel. She told me about you guys. <laughs> Laverne Nagel? What's wrong? <laughs> Would be okay if I gave her, you know, Laverne? <laughs> Would be okay if I gave her a call to, mm -hmm. huh? Laverne told me all about you. She told me all about you. She didn't hear the things she said about you guys. Oh, uh, what did Laverne say about us? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> she said uh, <laughs> that, uh, I guess Anthony, she knows him. Okay. She says that he is such a sweetheart and that, I guess uh, they were on a, a, a program with a, Run a health program where they lost several pounds uh, losing weight and things like that. Is that true? That's true. And he's uh, really good looking. He's, uh, he's definitely lost hundreds of pounds. Or how many pounds did he lose? I've seen before pictures, so I, I don't it's know like what it was before. 200 pounds I think he lost. Uh, I think he says around there, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Man. It's like a whole other person. So yeah, she said that he's a great guy and she really likes him a lot. Did you say anything else about us? Uh, yeah, she said your service is really good. You have like a boutique kind of a personal concierge service and that's what you guys do. And that's your that's what you guys do. said you guys are the best and all sleepy hollow the best of any kind. Yeah, I gave her a call just to tell her the kind of words you said. You're gonna tell her that? Absolutely. Really? You tell her I said hi, okay? I will do that. Then we're gonna thank me now. Thank you very much for saying the kind words. That's so nice of you to say that Mike. That's really nice. Would you want a cup of coffee? Sure. I'll get you a cup of coffee. Here's a cup of coffee for you. Hang on. I mean the reason I gotta get the coffee here and grab the coffee. Just <laughs> yeah. put the coffee on the boy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the reason I get this stuff fixed, Mike, is kind of serious because my son Wyatt has got um, asthma, but my daughter Karen has got eczema, and she has a skin condition, and she couldn't even go to school today uh, with her, I think, her medicated bath, and so her, she scratched her whole arms with all red and things like that. So I'm really just worried about her, and she's just my. She's my, my, my sunshine, and she just brings so much sunshine to my life. And I just felt bad that she's at home now today, and she can't go to school anymore with her eczema the way it is because of the, she couldn't take a medicated bath because of the way the, the thing is right now, you know? 
sorry, here, my little Joe. Can I tell you something? What's that? Karen. Karen. Karen's very <laughs> lucky to have you as a father. Really? It's very nice that you're here at home right now trying to make sure everything's okay for her. That's so nice of you to say that, Mike. You're really saying it with feeling. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so nice, really. You're putting your heart into this, aren't you? Of course. Things are so good. So thanks a lot for your service, Mike. It's so nice that you did that. Of course. Good. Good for you. <laughs> you want some strudel? I want some strudel. <laughs> Sorry. Strudel? All right. Let's take that to strudel and the coffee. Yeah, you just dropped the strudel. Go <laughs> <laughs> and ask me those questions about the people. Like, so Joe, who found the problem? So Joe, who found the problem with the hot water? Well, when Karen tried to get in the bathtub, she couldn't get in the bathtub. It was cold. She said the water's that cold. She told me, and she woke me up at like uh, six this morning when she got up. You know? How'd that make her feel? It wasn't good because my, you know, my wife Julie is not even home, and she's like, "Dad, you gotta fix this thing, and you gotta get this thing fixed." She was just uh, upset about it. So what's that like? What's that like to hear that? Well, it just felt like a bad father. I felt like I was a bad dad. Like I wasn't providing for my family. Uh, I just felt really bad. It was awful, you know. So I just feel bad about everything. That's what it is. Like that's way of saying it. So I, I really just, I hope we can get this water heater back. On. Well, Joe, I'll go out and make some options. I'm gonna have two premium to kind of mid-range, mid-range of two economy options to see what we can do to further help the situation. You see what you can do for me, okay? So what'd you come up with, Mike? Something nice and easy? What'd you find? So I don't like what I found. I don't know. What is it? Problems worse than I thought. Problems worse than what I thought. It's a fault in the hot water heater system. What? It's a problem in the hot water heater system. What was it? What part of the system? Hot water containment system? Storage system? Storage system. Let's try it again we're done. Right. What's the problem, Mike? There's a fault in the hot water heater storage system. Oh my god, that sounds terrible. Anything else wrong? What really bothers me, Joe, what'd you say about Karen? What really bothers me is, what were you saying about Karen earlier? She's got eczema. So that's what Concerning me right now is I want to make sure we have the proper water for her. Jeez, that's terrible. Is there anything we can do to fix it? How many options did you make? I have six options for you. Tell me what I'll show you. So, tell me what kind of options you got. I got two premium, two standard, and then two economy options. Okay. Either way, I should do what with those? Either way, you should do whatever makes you feel comfortable for your family. Okay, good, good. So, go ahead and tell me what you got here. What's the top option? My top option here, Joe, is the Premium Plus Joe's Family Worry-Free Water Heater System. Oh, that sounds good. What does that include? This includes a high-capacity, less water heater you'll ever buy. It also is going to include... Tell me who you did that for. Uh, I did that for the whole family so that you don't get this call again saying, hey, oh, I'm sorry, your daughter doesn't wake you up saying there's no hot water, so it leaves her alone as well. Mm -hmm. What else does it include? So this is going to include permits okay so we're gonna tell me how you're gonna do that so Joe we're gonna go down to the City Hall I'll tell me exactly what it takes to get a permit so I can see here that we go down to the City Hall I'm gonna get the permit and fill we're, standing out. we're gonna stand in line to tell me every all the hassle that goes along with a fucking permit you know what I'm saying I'm gonna, I'm gonna, drive, to, I'm gonna drive there wait in line put out the work get the permit drive back over here put it on the window and then we're gonna have an inspection with the inspector the end. I'm going to attend that inspection too. And I did this for you to make sure that we document the safety of your family. Something like that. Tell, tell me why we're doing that. Okay. We're doing all this so that everything is filed by code so that you have the ease of mind so you don't, I don't know you're safe. The, the, the family, Wyatt and Karen and Julie. So the whole family is feeling secure. Good, good, that's good. What else does it include? So this is a lifetime warranty tank. Mm -hmm. Uh, on top of that, it also includes for the next 10 years, we're going to come out here, maintain it. If anything goes wrong, you give us a call. In the middle of the night, we'll be out here, we'll figure it out. You don't pay another dime towards it. Why'd you do all that? We did all that so that you are worry free. That's mm -hmm. the whole purpose of the call today. <coughs> well, that sounds good. Is that pretty expensive? Um, so, if you want to take a guess at how much it costs? I have no idea. Twenty grand? How much is it? Ninety-seven eighty-two. Yep. 
That's not bad. So what should we do? You're gonna scare me with that 20 grand. So what should we do? Um, I wasn't expecting to spend ten thousand dollars. I tell you that. So what should we do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some time to think about this, Mike. Are you saying that option is too expensive? No, I like that option. So what should we do? Is that competitive? If I shop around, what would I find? You can absolutely shop around. I'm sure you'll find someone who's cheaper. These options here are made specifically for you. So what should we do? Is there any way you can email this to me and send it to me and give you a call back later? I can tell you what, I can even do better than that. What's that? If you want, I can come back later when you're with your wife. Right, not yet, not, not that. Was, we'll save that for later if it all goes to hell. Um, <laughs> oh, I can take away the top option if that's the one you're worrying about. That's why I like Mike. What do you like about it? Well, it gives me the 10 year warranty and the whole thing and the permits. I don't want to do with that crap. So, what should we do? You get paid like special commission on this? Like, you make, you make a shitload of money on that, right? Personally? Take a haircut on that one. Do something for me. Oh, just be a man. Joe, if you're worrying about the price okay. for this one, why don't we just go down to the lower option? I, I like this one here, though. It's the one I like. So much we do. Can you take off the eighty-two dollars and make it ninety-seven hundred even? If you're gonna worry about the eighty-seven dollars, why not go down to the forty-five hundred option? Because this is the one I like. Aren't you listening to me? So much we do. Jesus, Mike. You know, you know how negotiation is supposed to work. I offer a lower price, so you're supposed to offer a lower price. That's how we do it, you know? So, uh, I'm not going to cut corners on any safety or health. Oh, okay. So what should we do? Jeez. I've got to be like that about it. <laughs> um, I think my wife's not here. Drop 10000 on her being here. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what? My wife's not here. <laughs> What's not here? Well, what kind of options does your wife go in? Does she usually do premium options, standard options, economy options? She would look at, she'd do the twenty thousand dollar one if she was here. So what should we do? Twenty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you have no Is this competitive like you sure I couldn't find somebody cheaper on this? You can absolutely find someone cheaper. But these options are made specifically for you. You're not going to find someone who will do the same amount. Hmm. So what should we do? I can't believe I'm going to do this. So what should we do? Does it get the heat on for me today? Does it get the hot water? I mean, she needs the hot water tonight. You know what I'm saying? If we could get it on today, what would you do? You just do the top one for 97.82. So what should we do? 9782, let's just get it done. How do you want to pay? Can I do a uh, personal check? If I said I could. Personal check, so that's old school. <laughs> <laughs> what's, that, what's that even look like? I haven't looked at some of those. <laughs> so what should we do? I used the personal check, let's do it. Joe, do you have the cheaper options? Oh, Joe, we have cheaper options. Are you sure you want to go with that option? No, I don't want those. I want the better one, 97, 82. So what should we do? Let's get the better one done, okay? All right. Let's do it. All right, Mikey, nice job. Yeah.